Big Fanny wants a trial in August in the Trump Rico case, and the judge has granted it. Not for all the co-defendants yet, but for at least one guy, this guy, Kenneth Chesabro, looks like he's going to be proceeding to trial October 23rd. And this is kind of a shocking thing because he's one of 19 total co-defendants and the other co-defendants definitely don't want this case to go to trial right now. And so we've got this battle between the right to due process, the right to review the evidence, to prepare your case. And he's been investigating this for years now. And so so shouldn't the defendants get equal time to prepare their case? Now you can contrast that against a defense's right to a speedy trial. And the defense can say, yeah, we want to go right now. And if you've got your witness, you've got your evidence, you've got your experts, you've got your reports, you've got your exhibits, let's go baby, because the burden is on you. And I don't think that you're going to be able to meet it. So that is the tactic that Kenneth Chesabro is enacting. He's already filed a motion for a speedy trial and a motion to accelerate, to expedite his proceedings. And Trump is opposing it. Trump's team has already filed saying, we're going to sever this case. We don't want to be any part of this October trial. And so be careful where this goes, Your Honor. And we're going to get to all of it. But I want to start off with the court's actual ruling in the Chesabro matter, because this is what it looks like. And you'll see this was filed October, August 24th, 2023 in Fulton County, Georgia. So this is the state level case. This is Big Fannie Willis's case. And you can see it's only one matter. It's not the big list of everybody that we are used to seeing. The other 18 co-defendants in addition to Kenneth. Instead, we only see the very case specific scheduling order, right? So this is only for Kenneth right now. But it's still one of them. And we've already heard Fanny say that she wants them all to go together. During her press briefing, she said, yep, we're, I want to try them all at the same time. So if Kenneth is going first, does that mean everybody else is going first? And we also know that Mark Meadows is trying to get his case removed and he wants to pull the whole thing up federal court. So are we going to start splitting defendants and splitting cases or what's happening here? Everything is messy and we don't know exactly what route we're going to go. But the judge in Georgia, as it stands, right now and the federal courts defer to the state courts until they take the case out they have scheduled a trial and look at this trial to begin October 23rd 2023 that's like soon man less than two months yeah and it's gonna be here quick and we've got a lot of other business to attend to Trump's got other criminal charges and this seems like it's pretty shocking for a case that they were investigating for years for the defense to get what three months time to prepare for this why is Fannie even asking for this we're gonna see this all originated with her but we're going to go through this. Well, it originated with her, the early dates, but it's also being asked by Kenneth Chesabro, right? So one defendant is agreeing to this, which is why they basically, she has cover to ask for it. So let's see what we've got. This is the judge writing. It says, all right, this case is subject to this court's standing orders. The rules and procedure contained will within here are going to govern the prosecution of this case and the conduct of the parties. And again, we're only on Kenneth here. Due to Kenneth's timely demand for a speedy trial, the one that we're going to read in a minute, we're kind of going backwards today. Scheduled here will happen on an expedited timeline to meet the November 3rd deadline to begin the trial. November 3rd deadline to meet the trial. At this time, these deadlines do not apply to any co-defendant. And so they must have done the speedy trial calculations and the deadline is under the speedy trial calculations under Georgia law. They say here, see Georgia law right there, 15-6-3 and they're, they're citing the law. So that's the deadline. Remember that the analogy we like to use with speedy trial is the chess clock. When the government goes, they're... The, the clock is counting against them. When the defense is asking for time, the clock is accounting against them. And so we're constantly counting the time that each side has and what is being waived and what is not being waived. Here, the speedy trial calculation says that it has to happen before that date. And Chester Bro is demanding that we comply with that. So the judge is scheduling quickly. October, November is going to be right after the fact, right? November 3rd is coming up. So we give them a little bit of a buffer in case they need to postpone it for a week or whatever. They'll still be within the speedy trial deadline. So he says, okay, if you want it, you've got a right to it. So unless waived, the arraignment is going to occur on September 6th, great day. Discovery is also going to be due from both parties. So the files from Fannie have got to go over to the defense and the defense has to give files over to Fannie by September 20th, 2023. All motions, all other motions in limine, which are the preliminary motions, which will say you can talk about this or not talk about that, or this person can go into this line of questioning or not. All that is due one week later, very fast, September 27th. Then we get our final pre-trial conference two days later very fast. Motions hearing if we need it, TBD, and then trial starts October 23rd. Boom. And that is fast, fast. And that's, this is what Kenneth wanted. And so let's go, we're going to work backwards, but this is what the judge ordered. Judge Scott McAfee. So as it stands, my friends, we have one trial scheduled in October. Like that's hard right now. Unless the federal courts move this, this might happen. I mean, this is what the judge has scheduled. So let's see how we got here right now. This is the demand from Kenneth Chesabro. And so he's saying, thank you, judge. This is what I was asking for. He said, here, 
comes now Kenneth Chesabro. I demand a speedy trial. He's referencing the Georgia law. Any defendant who's charged with a crime may enter a demand for a speedy trial at the court term at which the indictment is filed or the next regular court term thereafter. Okay, so they've got like court terms. So the court will be in session. They've got to get it in before the court closes out of the session. They say an indictment against Mr. Chesabro was filed on August 14th. The indictment was filed within Fannie's County and the term of the court was July 2023. Therefore, Chesabro is timely filing his request now. His demand for a speedy trial complies with the law and it's been filed with the clerk of the court. Lastly, there are juries impaneled and they're qualified. I want it done in this term. Wherefore, my client Chesabro demands a speedy trial. Signed off on by everybody and they want to go fast. They copied Big Fanny and her DA's office. They copied the clerk of the court and the judge. And so they all got that notice. Now, Chesabro also submitted this. He wants to accelerate everything else. He says, okay, well, I want to set this case for an arraignment. And the judge has basically done all of this and advised to a trial date, plea, calendar call, motions, deadlines. Judge has scheduled all of this. We know that all exists currently. And that is what this lawyer was asking for. Now, as we saw, both of those motions were only for him, okay? Only for his case. But this is what Fanny filed. And we're going to see Trump is obviously opposing this. So this was also dropped on 824. Now you'll notice, look at all these names here. Oh yeah, that's everybody. So in addition to Kenneth Chesabro, we've got Donald Trump, Rudy Giuliani, John Eastman, Meadows, Clark, Jenna Ellis, and everybody else all listed as co-defendants. So this is for everybody also taking place out of Fulton County, the state of Georgia. And now this says, this is the state's motion. And so this is being written by guess who? None other than the biggest Fannie in Georgia, the district attorney, big Fannie Willis. And here's what she says. Very short filing. She says, all right, your honor, come now me. And I respectfully request that this court specially set the trial in this case to commence for all 19 defendants, all of them on October 23rd, 2023, all of them, Trump included. On August 13th, the Fulton County grand jury returned a true bill of indictment against defendant Kenneth John Chesabro, among others for various non-capital felonies. The term of this indictment is this term, defendant filed a demand for speedy trial, the one we just read, without waiving any objection as to the sufficiency of the filing, the state requests that this court specially set the trial in this case to commence on October 23rd, which falls within the next regular term here in Fulton County. So the judge did that, right? But for one of them, and she submitted this on August 24th and the judge's order also dropped on August 24th. And so he definitely did it for one of them, but not all of them. She wants them all to go. Now Trump's people have responded. Obviously they're saying you're out of your mind. And so this filing got dropped at 1.51 p.m. And let's check the times on the other two. So Fanny, she dropped hers at 12.24 and the order came out at 2.46. So the order doesn't address Fanny's request on the others. I mean, it sort of does. It says we're only setting trial on this one. But her follow-up question is, okay, well, what about the trials on the other cases? So this is what Trump said in his response. He said, here's President Trump's response. And the judge is probably going to have to continue to, to hash this out, but says President Trump respectfully puts the court on notice that he opposes the motion for entry of a pretrial scheduling order and a motion specially to set trial, right? That that's the, those are the requests from this one from Fannie. Trump also alerts the court that he will be filing a timely motion to sever his case from Chesabro, who has filed a demand for a speedy trial or any other co-defendant who also files such a demand. President Trump further respectfully puts this court on notice that he requests that the court set a scheduling conference at its earliest convenience. So Trump can be heard on these various motions for pretrial scheduling orders and to set a trial signed off by the new lawyer out of Georgia, Stephen Sado, out of Atlanta, Georgia, signed here August 24, 2023. And so the question is going to be, what does the judge do? We know that Mark Meadows has his removal hearing scheduled for August 28th. And if the judge in federal court removes the case, that may, that will obviously have consequences for the state case. But as it stands, my friends, trial scheduled in at least one matter right now, October 23rd, in the case of Kenneth Chesabro. Of course, we'll continue to cover. Thank you for subscribing and joining us as we do, my friends. We'll see you on the next one.